Guys, this is not a drill. Fate Weaver Adora is finally out for everyone in Battles 2. But notice how I don't have enough Adora XP to unlock her. But there's actually a way to get past this. And it requires you to go down to the shop. And as you see right here, embrace your fate. Grab hold of your own destiny with this exclusive avatar and banner set and enough monkey money and Adora points to unlock Fate Weaver Adora instantly. And this is going to be only available for the next 14 days, so make sure you buy it quick before it goes away. And also, for the next 5 days, you can fast track your Easter event with the Bunny Booster, available now in the shop. So if you plan on buying it, or anything else in the shop, such as the Monkey Money and Rewards Boost, but most importantly, the Club Membership, which I highly recommend if you play Battles 2 a lot, because you get all of these benefits listed right here, such as being able to earn double Monkey Money rewards, unlock new bling faster with 2 times Golden Banana, and much much more make sure before you purchase anything you click the creator support button in the bottom right hand corner and enter in my creator code Boltrix here because it directly supports me and the channel and allows me to continue making battles 2 content here on youtube but also currently a battles 2 charity showdown is happening right now. The way this will work is from today, March 27th to April 1st, 9 p.m. UTC, 15% of every creator code attributed transaction in Battles 2 will be donated to charity. And along with this, the top three creators will get a custom in-game cosmetic. Oh my God. So if you want to support me, Charity, and have the chance to get a new Battles 2 custom avatar or banner, use my creator code Boltrix in the Battles 2 shop before making any purchase. Let's show everyone that we have the most dedicated Battles 2 community by using my creator code. A portion of every purchase, up to $25,000 with the creator code, will go to Charity until April 1st. I'll be competing with other Battles 2 creators as well, but if we all come together, we can win this, so let's do it. But with all that being said, we are of course going to be showcasing the brand new Fate Weaver Adora in today's video, so let's get it. And because of the new update, the new hero, and just everything, make sure to drop a like on today's video if you guys do enjoy. And as well, we are trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and with your help, we can do it, so subscribe. We got the brand new Fate Weaver Adora. Our opponent is set as Gwendolyn. And we are on the map Thin Ice with the strategy Ninja Farm Alchemist. I'm not exactly sure how the strategy is going to work. It kind of just sounded good in my head. But let's start off with the Alchemist all the way up here. I'm going to set you to last as well. And he's doing a big, big no-no. Oh, Darling. Okay, I was going to say, he needs to send Eco. He started sending that, so fair play. Well done with that. I'm going to have to set you to first, though. Just because I'm trying to go no lies loss here, if that's possible. But as you can see, these red balloons are getting through. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We could have went for a round one Fate Weaver as well. Kind of kind of threw that a little bit. Let's uh, tower boost this, though. Because a lot of freaking AI balloons got through. I don't know. I just want to have the life advantage because I want to go late game with today's video. I want to showcase Fate Weaver Adora, of course. And I've heard that she's pretty freaking OP during the later game rounds. And I have used her personally, but the first time I used her during the early access video, to be completely honest, I just did not know what I was doing. And I still don't, but I definitely have a little bit of a better understanding. So I'm definitely feeling confident with this one, but I'm going to go for my ninja right about here, by the way. Beautiful. Let's upgrade you a little bit, maybe to the... 201. I probably should also go for the larger potions or something like that. Maybe set you to close, actually, by the way, too. Now, nah, just straight up last. Last should be pretty good. And guys, kind of random, but because of the Battles 2 Charity Showdown event, I'm going to be streaming a lot more for the next week right here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to try to catch a stream if you can and turn on post notifications so that you get notified when I go live. Because during the live streams as well, I like to play against viewers, aka you guys. So you want to have the chance to go up against your boy, make sure to be there. And also, you guys got to use code Boltrix. I mean, I explained it all in the intro, and if you skip the intro, then go back to the intro because, yes, Battles 2 has a charity freaking event happening right now, and by using my creator code, that contributes a little bit to the actual charity. Are we going to go no lives lost here? No, we're not. Unless, oh my god, I'm actually bad. I'm bad for that. Okay. Wait, he didn't leak anything? What? He hasn't leaked yet? Oh, no. Stronger acid here. Okay, wait. The first blood just came through. Wait, I have one bar connection. Whoa. Why is my connection so bad? Okay. Let's go for that farm upgrade finally. Bro, no. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. We have the life bench. We have the life bench. Okay. 
So long as he does not have a single tower that he can use to regen his lives, we should be absolutely fine. But as I was saying, yeah, use my creator code in the Battles 2 shop and 15% of your total purchase will go towards charity. So it's for a good cause. And as well, if we are the number one creator, because the top three creators that get their code used the most will actually get a custom cosmetic in the game. That is so freaking hype, bro. That is so hype. And guys, I've been posting Battles 2 content since day one, literally since day freaking one of this game releasing. So we got the most dedicated, the most loyal, and the oldest Battles 2 freaking community. And oldest not in a bad way. Like we're like the, the veterans of the community. You know what I mean? So we got to show everyone that we are in fact the best. I did go for another farm here, by the way, which is a little risky. Not going to lie. Uh, but I'm going to upgrade you to the 200. Beautiful. Round 10 is here. Oh my god, I really greeted. Holy crap. So should I go for maybe Berserker Brew first since it's a little bit cheaper than the Balloon Jitsu? So yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. He went for the Hydro Rocket Pots. Fair play. Well done with that. Now he's kind of shooting himself in the foot because so far he has a Purico strategy, right? But he's popping the balloons right as they come out the map with his Dartling Gunner. So like, doesn't make too much sense, obviously. Uh, I'll play this safe. Let's go for Balloon Jitsu here. Absolutely fine. But again, we want to showcase Fate Weaver Adora. That is the main objective. And bro, she is goaded during the late game rounds, okay? And so is this strategy. So by all means, I am absolutely fine to go decently late with this guy. And I specifically want to showcase the level 10 Chains of Fate ability. This ability immobilizes Mob Class Balloons, chains them up, literally chains them up, bro. It's insane. Okay, he's got Sniper. Okay, so Dartling Sniper, please tell me your last tower is like the Super Monkey or something. That would be so freaking wonderful. And wait, look at this. Uh, okay. It just lags so hard. Bro, I'm lagging. Oh my God, bro. I have Spectrum internet. Spectrum freaking sucks, bro. <laughs> like it's so inconsistent, bro. And like, I'm laughing, but like deep down, I'm actually really mad. Okay, not really. You know, I'm happy to be playing with a new hero and everything, but like, can we just like get a non-laggy game, please? Please, internet gods, let there be no lag. But I feel like we're doing pretty solid so far. Uh, with all things considered in this game. So we got decent farms, decent eco as well. I'm assuming he's going to want to go for a supply drop um, on that sniper. And yeah, that's what he's upgrading towards. <laughs> Look, I can't even set anything again, bro. Oh my god, I'm the one with unstable internet. You hate to see it, bro. Round 17 already, though. But like the game is like kind of running smooth. So like that's why I'm a little confused. But you know what? Let's transition into pink eco here. I'm going to shoot for a higher amount of eco since we plan on going late game. So... Why the heck not, man? I probably could have upgraded this. Oh, wait. Why are we all of a sudden struggling? Okay, no. We're good. I was about to say, like, this is being alk buffed, right? Am I? Okay, no, it is. I was about to say, like, there is no way that Balloon Jitsu is not within range. My freaking goodness. Let's go for another banana plantation here, by the way. Because why not? We got the money for it. Beautiful. I didn't... Wait, did I use my level 3 ability? I don't know if I did. I think I might have. Uh, but with the level 3 ability, it, it kind of sucks at first, not going to lie. But it definitely gets a lot better over time. That's for sure. So, during the earlier game rounds, not going to help you out that much. But it's better than nothing, I guess. Round 19 is here. Should I send Zebras? Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Like I said, I want an insane amount of eco, boys. I should have went for a lead of gold, though. For all these AI balloons. Kind of thrown because of that. But it's all good. He's going to go for another sniper, looks like. He's getting a little scared. Okay. He did use that level 3 ability, though. Fair play, well done. Are we fine here against all the ceramics? I really hope so. Let's use level three. Yeah. Yo. Yo, I wasn't, I don't know. Was that level three or was it the balloon jitsu? It was a combination of both, that's for sure. But round 20, AI freaking mob here. Obviously, we're going to be full, full chilling against this. I'm going to send zebras until about the end of this round here. Although, boys, I'm kind of scared, not going to lie. I'm a little scared about all that. Look at this. Oh, shoot. Tower boost. Oh my god, that's actually really scary. Okay. I probably could have gotten away without tower boosting that. But man, oh man. I just saw a lot of balloons. And I was like, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll tower boost. That's fine. I didn't have my level 3 ability as well. Maybe I should have saved that for round 21 AI instead. But you know what? We'll push it to about 3,000 eco. And then we'll finally call it a freaking day. And uh, we definitely have got to better our farm game here. It's kind of not doing so good right now. Oh, wait, shoot. I over it a little bit. You know what? It's fine, though. Because you know what? We should send him a rush. Yes. We just sent him 
a fortified BFB, and I kind of want to showcase the level 7 ability to y'all, so I'll go for, like, another Balloon Jutsu over here, and then I'm going to sacrifice it. Okay, it's being stalled, though. But inside the range of his hero with the level 7 ability, when we sacrifice something, it'll increase the speed of everything, if that kind of sort of makes sense. I, that was a really bad explanation, but you guys will see in a second. Oh, wait. I just used my chance of fate. Shoot. Look at this. Okay. It was barely faster, but, like, hopefully you notice the difference. I accidentally also used my level 10 ability, which... Here's the level 10. Chains of Fate creates a trap which damages and immobilizes any balloon that touches it. Damage increases if your opponent has expensive monkeys. So that's obviously pretty hype. And so if he decides to rush this later on, and he has, like, the super monkey or something, like a true sun god, then that just makes our level 10 ability even freaking stronger, which I really like that addition to the level 10 ability, but... Round 25 is here. I'll probably, you know what? Let's like preset this. This will be our eventual permanent brew, right? And so because of that, I'd rather have the Master Bomber as far back in the map as possible, if that makes sense. So like right about here should be pretty darn good. Or maybe, maybe just a little bit. No, 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 no. That, yeah, that's within range. If that's not within range, bro, I'm going to be so upset. And we could sell all these farms into a monkey wall street, by the way. Low lackey, but we got it. Beautiful. Okay, let's upgrade to this now. Because our round 26 DDT defenses are actually terrible. So definitely have got to watch out for that. I'm going to start pre-placing all these ninjas as well. Just to really, really play it safe, of course. I don't know if I want to upgrade these to shinobis or what. Like, obviously, like, you want as many balloon jitsus inside the range of the permanent brew as possible. But, like, at the same time, like, you have to make sure that your tier 5 ninjas have the times 10 shinobi tactic stack buff on them. Uh, let's go for another one of these, by the way. Beautiful. Round 28 is here. Kind of scary. Okay, let's showcase level 3 right now. Let's see what it does. See? That, that's pretty solid, okay? Nothing too, too crazy, but... Definitely a pretty solid, like, cleanup. Kind of reminds me of, like, level 3 Sada's ability, I believe. I've never actually used Sada. I've just seen her in action. So maybe I'm remembering wrong. But B Central. Ooh, 100 times. Hey, yo, let's go. But, bro, he never revealed that third and final tower. I swear, guys, if it's a tower that regens his lives, I'm going to be so upset, bro. Because we only lead two lives during the earlier game rounds, which is just so unfortunate. But I'm not going to go for any more farms here in case he wants to rush us on round 30 he most definitely could so gotta watch out for that you know what with the level 10 ability we can target it as if it's like level 3 cocktail on gwen for example so we'll target it up there so that i can initially do damage but it's about to be round 30 yep i'm gonna start going or trying to go for the permanent brew of course so let's go for that beautiful we could probably just sell you at this point because i will permanently buff this anyway mm, do we want this to be our grandmaster yeah i mean that's fine that should be fine are we fine here Okay. Yeah, we're good. Oh my god, that was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie to y'all for a second. That was really, really scary, actually. So technically, when he goes for more and more sniper farms, he has more and more expensive monkeys, right? So like, our level 10 or level 20, actually, because I think at level 20, it like does double the damage. Uh, but the Chains of Fate ability is going to be cracked. Okay, he's ninja. Yes! <laughs> yes, bro. No, I'm not rushing you. I do not care, bro. I mean, can this strategy, though, defend all the way to round 40? Uh, it's gonna be close. I'm not gonna lie. And yes, I could be spamming my banana farms. I was trying to get pixel perfect spots, of course, on all these ninja monkeys because the more inside the range of the permanent brew, obviously the better. But I think we're about to have pretty much the max amount of ninjas inside the range of it, okay? No way this is not being buffed. No, no shot, bro. Oh my goodness. That's actually crazy. Okay, wait. If I go for this, I gotta sell you. Look at that. It is like literally one pixel away from being in. You're lying, bro. Oh. Are you kidding? Bro. It's literally one pixel. Okay, whatever. Master Bomber right here. That, nah, that's crazy. Nah, that is just... What? Okay, he's gonna rush us here. Okay, let's use that level 10. Look, you see the chains on that, baby? You see the chains on it, baby? Oh, wait. Let's use this, too. Shoot. Oh, my God. We're shredding. Oh, my God. We're shredding. 
Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir, baby. Let's go for a BMA, too. Why not? C can help us out with the insides. Oh. That was our last tower boost, though. That's the only kind of bad thing. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to sell you, sell you, sell you. Maybe even sell you, honestly. Okay, I thought maybe I could go for another ninja inside the range. Wow. We shredded, though. He could still sell in one dot. Was that even level 20, by the way? I think it was. Okay, look. Chains of Fate deal twice as much damage and last longer. The Eye of Misfortune has increased range and causes balloons to move even faster. So that right there definitely helped us out quite a bit. No shot you're not going to at least try again, though. Like, I, I thought for sure that this guy would try. That's why I'm not, I'm not even worried about these placements, bro. I think I went for a little bit too many Shinobis, though. But again, like, having that times 10 stack on the Tier 5s mainly is super, super important. I mean, bro, like, you could literally just sell all your snipers and at least try okay we'll, we'll rush him then why not since you don't want to rush us we'll rush you my friend we'll give you what you want i don't know if this is what you wanted but you're screwed you don't even have an mad you're so screwed bro come on now come on now i want no i want to showcase this ability again dude you have the money sell your sniper farms oh god he, he's screwed <laughs> I think it is very, very safe to say that this young man here is screwed. So, Chains of Fate, Fate Weaver Adora. Guys, this is just Ninja Alk, by the way, which I think we can all agree that combination is goaded. But the fact that we don't have, like, the Homeland Defense to help us out or anything crazy like that, just the Ninja Alk combo is freaking nuts. Round 40 ZOMG, we just one-popped it. Sudden death. And we're going to get the win because of the life advantage. Let me know what you guys think about Fate Weaver Adora down in the comments below. And as well, if you guys haven't already, make sure to drop a like on the video and to subscribe because we're trying to hit 500k by the end of the year. And with your help, we can do it. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where I copied everything this noob did again. See ya.